Right, I'm hitting this. Recording. Ahoy hoy. Is that the rabbit in the headlights? So, we went to Albion Hills today, probably for the last time. Likely our last hurrah. Which is owned by the conservation area. No, it's not. The Toronto Conservation Authority. I need to swap stalls. It's like being at school. No, it's smaller. So, owned by the... Toronto Conservation Authority? I don't know about the Toronto part. There's so many conservation things. Don't look it up now. Well, I need to let the people know. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no point oh, in wait, doing I a trail guide. Oh, wait, I just have the thing on my telephone. Here. Conservation Parks. Oh, it is Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. That's where they were established. My um, apologies. That's okay. So, we've been there quite a few times. Um, also looking for mushrooms as well as just riding. Um, having been a few times, what do you think? I was recollecting that I have fond memories of Albion. It's not my favouritest place, but we found such a sweet spot for picnicking there, away from everyone, and also... If an excellent cone on the way home like it and it's not too far it's uh it's been pretty good to us however um all of the trails that are there and there's a lot um there's only probably one or two that are built i wouldn't say properly because they're properly built but built Flowing. with any kind of flow in mind so even though the height of the hills is high enough and the terrain is good enough to be able to build like long sweeping downs and gentle climbs up which you know you don't want all the time but just occasionally everything is built like sharp right hand turns rutty rooty climbs and you kind of get no break you don't get any well. No, and if you put your dropper post down, you put it up before you put it down because you've got to get back on the pedals to get back up the next hill, otherwise it's like too steep. Or Actually, you know what I remembered today from some of my first rides there? Um, is how much I'm changing gears. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I think that speaks to what you're saying, perhaps. Yeah, completely. And then you get on that trail that's built by the um national mountain bike federation or whatever it is and it's a different day all over it's like completely different you climb and then you come down and it's like oh that makes sense mm. the area that we went on today that we'd never been on before was this handle with care high roller that area we'd never done that before we mm. just kind of found ourselves over there while we were looking for the other bit which was the goat path which i never had my my uh last hurrah with the goat did i you didn't um I struggled with the goat at first yeah we just didn't find it today but the reason we were looking for the goat path is because we were trying to find a cabin and the reason we were trying to find the cabin was because there were a jackpot of ramps and what are ramps for people that don't know wild garlic is that what it is yeah so we now have... Uh, I think it goes by several names, but I think both of those are correct. I wouldn't say wild onion, because the ones that we found south the previous week, those are more onion than these are more garlic, I'd say. Yeah. Anyways. Um, which we also found last year, but we didn't... Well, you didn't know what they were, but we were surprised by them last year. Um and this year we are ahead of the game. This is our second lot of collecting ramps. So we will need a huge freezer unit sooner or later. But um, we were a bit limited today because it got cold. And But it was better than picking them um, last year when we were picking them. You could only pick for so long because you couldn't stand the mosquitoes. No. Today... We got a bit chilly because it was 
chilly and then started raining a little bit. No mosquitoes, which is but excellent. no mosquitoes. I'd never see a mosquito again. I'd be happy. I know. There's one more thing that you didn't mention about Albion, though, that I think deserves to be mentioned, which I think docks at a few points in our books, and that is, correct me if I'm wrong, but the lack of information and frequency of closures, um, like access denied for due to whatever other events going on there, which is great, but again, when there's the lack of information about it... Um, yeah, I mean, you pay uncool. You pay as a member... Um, and then they close Albion for a mountain bike day, which is fine. But if, you know, you're not taking part, you're not allowed in. Um, they have all kinds of events. But they, yeah, they sort of spring it on you. And even today they said it was open for fat biking. And then when you turn up, it's open for normal mountain biking. Because I guess it's April, so it's still quite early in Canada. But it's for mountain biking. But Even one of the locals asked me, hey, was it open? Yeah, it's it's a bit vague. And also, in holiday time, so like school holiday period, if you go, there is a lot of people on There's the trails. There's a campground there as well. A lot of people well, walking, well. a lot of mountain bikers. Um, but today was pleasant. We saw mm. one other rider. Didn't even really, just from uh, the distance. We didn't even see any walkers, did we, today? One lady, and I think she was picking up trash. Oh, yeah, the lady that was later picking... And that was it. And then we saw a lot of birds today. We saw, we heard the coolest bird song. We don't know what he was yet. I don't have a clue. Possible turkey vultures as well. Oh, I think for sure that the was The odd them. cardinal. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them. This year. A lot of, uh, what do you call them? Chickadees. chickadees. I got um, to feed the chick the mother load of chickadees. The red-winged blackbird, nuthatches, a lot of woodpeckers. We heard two owls we, calling across the valley, definitely. which was cool. Um, so, yeah. So no it bunnies was, or deers today, though. saw some deer footprints. I Does thought I saw some footprints myself. Yeah, that was it. So, that was all I saw. Anyway, anything else to add? I would just say that, on the whole, I think Albion is a quite a sweet spot. And maybe that's because it's maybe one of... A, in my first few times I went there, I don't know if I have a biased thing going on here, but I there's something sweet and cozy about Albion, but there's a few drawbacks as well. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth going once if you're passing. Probably not worth coming all the way or over. Or buying a full year's go. membership. Um, and then on the weather side of things as in trails being open or closed, it is worth trying to look into Albion because it is one of the places that is open this weekend, even after all the rain, whereas Durham's closed and, you know, Hydra Cut's closed. Albion seems open and... And was pretty dry as a bone. And pretty good condition. So in that quest to find places to ride, it's probably worth considering it if everywhere else is closed. Anyway, that's the end of that. Until next time. Yeah, definitely stop in Bolton at Happy Days for a Cone on your way home. Peace out.